Hi, this is Iris Garcia from South Carolina State University. This tutorial will cover creating a mail merger and labels on Microsoft 2011 for Mac computers. A mail merger gets the information from a document previously created on Excel or databases like Access. Information on these programs should be stored on separate columns or fields according to categories. For example, first name, last name, address, etc. This allows Word to read the information and put it where you need it on your document. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to look for your letter. I have created this letter for this exercise. And now I'm going to merge or transfer the information from my document on Excel to this letter. You have to place the cursor where you want your information to be placed. Now you click on Tools. You click on Mail Merge. Now you see this little pop-up will come up and this is like it guides you on how to create your merger. You're going to click Create New. And this is also the place where you can create your envelopes and your labels. Since we're going to do letters, I'm going to click Letters. Now we have to select the recipient list. That is your Excel document or your database document. So you click Get List. You go to Open Data Source. And now you look for your document. Mine is right here. So I'm going to click and open. It will give me a warning that says that if you don't know the source of your, this file, just to be careful when you open it but I know it's safe because I created it. It will ask you if you want to use the whole worksheet and you say yes. So you click OK. And now what we're going to do, we're going to st uh, start dragging and dropping what we want. So right now we want the first name. So you click, drag, and you drop. Now you click Space. You do the same with the last name, drag and drop. Now you're going to press return so that you can place your address. So you do your address, so you click and drag. Now you're going to click return again so that you can put your city and your state. City. You have to be careful, otherwise you will put it somewhere else. Now you do space and then you state. Now you do your space and you put your zip code. You click down. Okay, so now this is how you're going to... It has to look the same way like if you will write it on an envelope on the card. Now you have the body of the letter and you know you can do so many things with this. You can add the name like dear and the first name above, you know, and you put it right there and then a comma or if you don't want to put dear and you got you just put um, you can place the first name before congratulations this is up to you however you want to create this document the next step you know what I do is I complete my merge you have two options you can complete it by pressing this which is merge to printer and it sends this automatically to your printer but what I use is always merge to new document. When you click on that, it opens a new document with all your letters and that way you can edit or fix however you want. I click that and that's how I see it. That's my letter right there with the names and you know each letter is in a separate page. So now all I have to do is just go over it and see it. Um, you know, I see that, oh, I didn't put the comma, so you place the comma, and you can work on any of them. If you want more space between dear 
you know, person and the body of the letter, then you do that. If you think this is not good enough, you can just do however you please on your document, but that's how you merge a document. So now what I'm gonna show you is how to create labels. Let me see, right now I'm just gonna open a new file, a new document blank, and we're gonna use the same source of information. And you know, again, we click on tools, you click on mill merger and this will come up. Now you click create and now we're gonna do labels. The labels that I have always used are the 5160, which is the address labels, but here you can check and there's a lot of sizes and shapes that you can use for bigger envelopes or boxes. Now you click OK. And now what you're going to do is again, select the list that you need. You get the list, you open data, and you look for your document. This is your Excel. I open my document and again, this is your box so that you can place all the fields that you need. This is like an address box. So what you do is you click on the first name, you click the space, now you click on the last name and then you click return so that you can click address, click return, then you do your city, space, state, space, and zip code. Then click OK. So now you have it right there. Now again, you know, we, you can go after putting your label paper on your printer, you can go strictly to printing your document, but I always like to check and make sure that is correct. So I always click on merge to new document. So you click on there and then you look at your labels. And again, I have a problem with commas. So you just edit, you know, you can do that. And then you see sometimes it will transfer good with the correct spaces and someone, sometimes it doesn't. So that's why you have to edit before you print it. Okay. So I think this is perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and create, print my labels. So I'm gonna file, you print, and that's what you do. Okay, so this is how you create your labels. The way you learn is when, when you are just practicing and you know, playing with your computer and your documents. Um, so today what we did is learn how to merge information from Excel into letters and also how to create labels. Uh, I hope you get something from this and thank you for watching.